Hey world, I'm Josh. And I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Booze edition. Tonight we are trying Bone Snapper Rye Whiskey. It is aged 24 months and it says Bones, a Bone Snapper is something that gets your attention. Bone Snapper is a rich, bold, spicy whiskey that should be sipped and savored. Enjoy it on its own or Enjoy it on its own over ice or in your favorite cocktail. Please enjoy responsibly. And it was age 24 months. This is batch number 4. Uh, 108 proof or 54% alcohol. Uh, distilled in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, which is very close to us. And bottled by Backbone Bourbon Company in Bardstown, Kentucky. I don't know if you can get a good look at the color there. Nice looking color whiskey. Off, obviously, we've had a little bit of this mm -hmm. since we got it. I did a little bit, but we never really tried it straight. We've just been using it in old fashions. Uh, it smells nice, kind of mellow. Doesn't like burn my nostrils. A little bit of vanilla to it, I think. Mhm. Mm How's it taste? Exactly like that. Spicy, warm. But not too spicy. Doesn't burn you up. Cool. I do get a little bit of vanilla. I mean, you can tell it's 108 proof. I think it's really tasty, though. It is. It really is. The vanilla is pretty strong. Mhm. Mm yeah, this one's really solid. I don't. It must just come from the barrels, I guess. Mhm. Mm it's caramel-ish, but really the vanilla is strong. 108 proof comes through though. Oh yeah, back in the, the chest. throat and in the chest. Yeah, like, no doubt about it. Definitely feel a burn. A bit of a sipper, not really a gulper. Yeah, mm. absolutely. But this one's really good. Not terribly oily, and no. it's kind of hard to tell on this thing, but it does get a nice um, bead or whatever on the edge of the glass, so it's. Pretty decent quality uh, mm -hmm. bourbon whiskey. I, I guess you, I guess there's a reason they don't call it rye bourbon because it was distilled in Indiana, and that maybe doesn't fit the bill technically. Even though it's a Kentucky company, they just basically paid somebody else to do all the work, and then they put it in a barrel for two years. Mm -hmm. But I can't blame them. I know where the distillery is. It's humongous. I mean. I don't think it's uncommon to have somebody else uh, to, for them to distill things. I think they actually do 1,800 tequila there. They bottle nice. it there, maybe. It's big, and it makes the whole town smell like uh, corn mash. But, uh... But, man, it is one tasty whiskey. Yeah, no complaints. Very drinkable. Probably... Do you remember what we paid? I think it was under, was it under 30 or yeah. under 40? It was definitely under 40. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that it was still under 30. I want to say it was like 25, maybe 30. Not too bad. Um, haven't had a lot of rise. I think Knob Creek and maybe Bullet. I don't... Bullet is the big one. Knob Creek's the one we've had a lot of around here. Our apartment, or our house, um, mm -hmm. but this is up there among my fa. I guess it would probably be my favorite so far. It's very drinkable, very enjoyable. Woo. Good work, Bone Snapper or Seagram's Distillery in Lawrenceburg. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, uh, good work, tasty. If you can get your hands on it, I'd say this is a very solid, affordable option. Absolutely. Any other thoughts? No. Yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching. Tell us what to try next. Um, comment down below. And See you subscribe. next time. Oh yeah, that too. Bye bye.